All right, I'm here at a national park um, that is home of one of my favorite um, favorite big guys. This giant head of an ape, eye sockets, nose. I found him about five or six years ago, and I come visit him a lot. But he's here in this another area that has what I call ruins of old buildings and living gi giants at one time and structures that have been, I think, you know, kind of melted. I think there's some sort of melting going on as well. But this is my big, my big ape, King Kong. You know, they get those uh, ideas for those movies because that's all true and that's why it resonates with us so much because we know deep down in our DNA that that's the truth. So they'll put those uh, kinds of things in movies knowing that that's going to uh, resonate with us and get our energy from it. That's why so many things are named after giants. Stores, cars, t you know, sports teams, etc. It's always in plain sight. I love this guy. Right here, I believe this possibly to be another large creature, just a giant. You can see the nose, the mouth, eyes, back of the head. Might have had a helmet on. It kind of looks like a helmet up here. Completely different color. This might have even been somebody with him because that kind of looks like one eye, the side of a nose, almost like his, uh, this exploded or something hit him. Imagine the size of these guys. If that's the size of their head. And, you know, I mean, that's solid 40 feet high. You can really tell when you start to get close how much of a scaly creature this was with the spine up here. This huge dragon. That's what I believe it to be. One of my favorites here. It's definitely flesh. And to me, this is the remains of a petrified dragon. Get a little better close up of this part. Looking back at it, it's really cool. So I do, I like coming here to visit uh, my big ape friend and my dragon friend. This big guy is a little different. To me, that looks like flesh, like the flesh of a whale. You know, or, you know, even a mammal could have been, you know, it just looks really long. And it just reminds me of a whale because that's all I can see. But, you know, this could have been just the shoulder of a massive elephant. That's very fleshy. So this is another uh, really cool, interesting guy. If you can see the, uh, you know, kind of looks like a, you know, has almost like horn or really high ears, eye. Wow. Now this could have just been art or a carving on this piece. This could have been, you know, just a part of the structure. There's one other one right over here. That is pretty obvious. And, you know, this could have very easily been, you know, this could be biology or, again, carving on the building. But uh, that sure looks, uh, just looks biological to me. So you can see how that's perfectly squared off there. So this is definitely the melted ruins of something. Um, and this goes on for, well, I would call it, uh, you know, like a city block, so to speak. It's huge, the, this, these quote unquote cliffs 
uh, you know, go on for a while. And I just love this tree, it's huge. Electricity. And then uh, if you look, you know, if your eyes have uh, if you kind of trained your eyes to realize it's not pareidolia, you can start to see these faces and things in the sides of these. But I believe that not all these are actual remains of living things. So some of these, you know, ancient structures would have had huge carvings of some kind. Um, so that's what some of that is. This one, you can tell that that was stacked on top of that at one point. Those are two separate pieces. And that sits downhill from the upper structure. You know, so this could have actually been, you know, an entranceway of some kind um, going in. Just an example of another part of this. Uh, let's see, I'm, well, these leaves are in the way. Um, yeah, another corner of a building. And this just goes all the way. Let's see if I can zoom in on this face that I see back here. That won't really focus for me, but I think some of you guys can see that. You know, I always go back and forth between what was living and what was a structure. But I believe all that to be rust. So when I was saying the stuff looks melted, um, that's kind of what I mean. And I, um, I know I mean, I just immediately see a thousand faces and stuff like that in there, but I think it's just melted uh, material of some kind. This also could have been the remains of a creature, but it's hard to tell, but it's uh, really cool. And another example of how these are like separate buildings A lot of rust. Yeah. Just the size of these were amazing. And this is all up on top of a, a again, a, like a huge hill. So, I'm probably standing on structure. Just amazing structures, huge. You know, the one, two, took over post-flood, post-old world. You know, they just control the narrative of what these are. They call them you know, cliffs. It's a pretty popular spot um, people here in Akron come to, but it's just part of the old world, and they can... Uh, Tell us whatever narrative they want, but knowing the truth sets you free, brings you closer to God, and um, that's all that matters. You don't need to believe in God, you can just know God.